Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Thank you for watching today. And so here we are in two, 2023. I'm like, oh my gosh, unbelievable. Um, I can remember we did Y2K 23 years ago. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I am here today to make a project using a lot of product from our new mini catalog that's going to be starting in two days. It's um, the January to April mini catalog. It's only four months instead of six months that it's around. Also, celebration is in effect starting on Thursday. So let's get started making a project. I am going to be using, I'm going to make a card, but I'm going to be using an old item. And if you have this in your stash, you probably haven't gotten it out in a while get it out and start using it. It's called an envelope board. So we used to have this in our inventory. We no longer do, but um, I'm going to be using it today. And you can make any size envelope with this, guys. It is so adorable. So um, the envelope board is going to be my first item I show, but then everything else is going to be new. Okay, so a lot of it, most of it is from the mini catalog or the celebration catalog. I'm going to be using designer series paper from the celebration catalog, and it's called Dandy Designs. It's that big giant pack of 12 by 12 paper. And if you place a $100 order, you can get it for free as your free, one of, as your free item. Okay, so uh, let's get started. And I'm going to use this piece of designer series paper. Ooh, love it. Coastal Cabana. I hardly ever use Coastal Cabana and I love that color. So I'm gonna use that today. I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna use Balmy Blue, White. So I'm just gonna mix it up and make a cute card. So let's get started. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna make a small envelope. I don't want it to be too big because it needs to fit on my card. And so I'm gonna go to my envelope board. If you have one of these, it does have all the instructions with it, okay? but I am going to make a little square envelope and I'm gonna make it three by three. And so it tells you right here that you need a five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of designer series paper or cardstock. And you're gonna start your score line at two and five eighths. Okay, so all that being said, put this in and it's got these nice increments here, two and five eighths. Okay, it also has your scoring tool right here in the side, or you can use your bone folder if you want. So two and five eighths, and then I'm just start from the bottom and I just do a nice score line. I don't make it too um, deep, right? Don't go too, too hard with it because this is designer series paper. Do a little punch, okay? Now you have that, you have that score line, so you wanna line that up with this little point. Okay, so when you do that, then you do hold it with your fingers and then you just do your little score line again and punch. And you do that all the way around. So you keep looking for that score line, punch, and the next score line. It's hard to do upside down, <laughs> just saying. Okay, and the last one, punch and score line. Okay, so now we're finished. Put this back in. This little holder. Okay, so these, is, these little things are what punched out. Those are trash. When you flip it over, you'll see all those score lines. So you just want to fold on those score lines. I'm going to get rid of this because it's so cumbersome here. Okay, so I'm just going to fold. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Round my corner. It's not really going to show that much, but I still want to show you. There is a corner rounder on here. It's right here. So you just put your cardstock in like this and punch. And then you'll have that nice little rounded corner, just like a real envelope. Well, it is a real envelope. Just saying. Okay, now I'm going to use some tear and tape. Okay, and I'm going to put this together. So I'm just going to put some tear and tape on these two pieces. So this is my first piece. I find tear and tape to be easiest with this because um, it's much easier to control. Okay, tear that off. Stick it down. Do it again. Like that. 
And there's your little envelope. Isn't that so cute? So you can make any size. I'm serious, guys. It is just the best tool ever. I wish it would come back in it. Maybe it will someday. Okay, so now we have this. So looking at this paper, it tells us all the colors that are in it. And Granny Apple Green is, um, I'm going to use that for my cardstock base. And so what I did was I took the Metal Plate 3D embossing folder. So this is in the mini catalog and um, the new mini catalog. And this is, so it's coming in two days. And so when I run this through, this is called Metal Plate. You run it through and you get this. Okay, can you see that texture? It's a really deep texture because it's a 3D folder. So when you do a 3D folder, you wanna use your gray plate. So you just need your platform and the gray plate with this in between. Always do a sandwich. If you don't do a sandwich, you'll warp this. So just saying. Um, okay, so there's my cardstock base, and then this is going to fit on my card like that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do I want to glue this down now? I think I should, so I can get everything in here positioned right. I think I will. So I'm going to put some glue on the back. And the white glue works so good, the multi purpose white glue, because this is textured and you need something that's really gonna grab a hold, okay? So I find that the white glue works best. Okay, so now we're gonna fill this with all kinds of cute things. We're gonna have it coming out of the envelope, all right? So what did I use? Okay, first thing I used was, I used Dainty Delight dies, okay? So Dainty Delight, dies are in the new mini catalog and I cut out this one so I cut out a um, I cut out a balmy blue and I cut out a white one okay so I have two of those all right I think that's the only die I used from this okay and then I went to my uh, frame florets okay so these dies were the ones that we could buy before and now they're carried over. So I cut out two of these. So I cut one out of Coastal Cabana and one out of Granny Apple Green. I love that, that they put the number on there. So if you ever misplace this, you can look at that number and that's the item number it tells you. Ooh, I love that. Okay, and then I also cut out one of these and I cut that out of Granny Apple Green also. Okay, so there's that. Then I cut out of Wisteria. Now these are from the big catalog, the annual catalog. I cut out two of these. I cut out a white and a Coastal Cabana. So I have two of those to play with. Okay, I kind of like this in as a variety because these are solid and those are more open dies. Does that make sense? I think it does. Okay. Oh, I see a little piece there it needs to come out. Okay. And then my last thing that I cut out was out of potted succulents. I just cut out two of these and I just cut them out of white. And I only cut two because I thought if I mess up, I'll have two. I have a second, a second chance to, uh, to stamp. Okay. So those were all the dies that I cut out. All right, and then I also cut a piece of vellum. Okay, and this is from, hang on a second, I'll look it up real quick. This is from the annual catalog. It's called Vellum Layering Designs. So I just cut a little piece of that to add to my, my little envelope. Okay, then I also cut out, and I also have, and this is the perfect color because this is Coastal Cabana. And this is called Three Twine Combo Pack. And so you get all three colors in here. You actually get Coastal Cabana, Garden Green, and Pumpkin Pie. Okay, so I'm going to use Garden. I'm going to get this out now so I don't forget. Because I'm famous for that. So I'm going to get out the Coastal Cabana. I'm going to twist that around somehow. And I also have these as an option. These are the Pastel Adhesive Back Sequins. So these are in the new mini catalog also. So I might use these gold ones. 
Um, I could maybe even use these. I'm not sure of the colors here. I usually write on the back the three colors. Obviously, that one might be mm, Blushing Bride or I'm not sure. So I need to look that up and write it on the back. That's just my, my thing. Okay, so let's start building this. And what I want to do is I want to kind of have these coming out of the top. Obviously, I don't want them to have come above here because then it won't fit in an envelope. So I may end up having to trim some of these, which is fine. I can piece these back together later some other way. Not sure about this little piece sticking out. I might cut that off. So you can use your dies to your heart's content. Just the way you like them. I love this one. So I might have that one coming out of the center because this is Granny Apple and I, that's Granny Apple and it might get lost. Okay, so I might have that coming out like that. And then I'll have this white one. So this is from Wisteria. And usually has Wisteria hanging from it. And I don't really need a Wisteria hanging from it. So, Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to glue that one down first. So here we go. Got the little glue on here. Tiny bits. Tiny, tiny. Probably too much, too much. Okay, so now I'm just going to put that in here. Maybe I'll have it hang down like that. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna have that happen. Hold that down for a second. So I'm gonna try to mix them up, right? I don't want the I don't want this one right next to it. Because it's just like it. So I'm going to put some glue on this one. Oh gosh, this is a new bottle, so it's really com coming out strong. I need to um, just go light with it so it doesn't squeeze out too much. Let's do some balmy blue. And I'm going to do a little more. So I'm just going to glue some of these while I have them all out here. Because I'm going to use them all, I think. So I'm going to put glue on all of them. Now, as long as I don't put my hand in it, <laughs> that'll be cool. Because I've done that before, just like you put it in the ink pad, right? Luckily, our water-based ink um, all washes out. I've even had it wash out of clothes, so if you get it on your clothes, don't panic. It's not a great feeling, but all works in the end, usually. It stays on that doesn't come out of your clothes, because that's that solvent ink. That one is really hard to get out, as in impossible. Okay, so let's go with this one first. Ooh, I love this one. Oops, stuck to my finger. Okay, so we got that one down. I need something over here. I think I need. What do I need? Do I need this one? Nope. I think I need this one. Yep. So it's like a little surprise all popping out of the envelope. Cute that is. Okay, and then here I think I'm going to do this one. And we're going to have... This one's so big, I don't know. Probably should have put this one down first. Hmm. Let's see. I 
has me stumped here for a second. Let me think. Here we look, I can tuck it way down in there. Ooh, yeah, I like that better. All right, we'll tuck it way down in there and then it won't look so big. It really was kind of taking over the envelope. I got this white one. See how the white kind of breaks it up? I like the white actually. Either need a white or a foil or something to, and then this one will be our last one. We'll just have this one coming out down here. Kind of like right there. So it'll be like a burst of leaves. Ugh, oh, so cute. All right, so now I need, while that's drying, I'm gonna stamp my saying. And I'm gonna to go to GoTo Greetings. And I'm gonna pick um, just a note. I'm gonna pick the small, just a note. And I'm just gonna stamp this in black so it really shows up. Now let's see how this works. Get this layered on here just right. Lined up properly. Pretty good. It's got a little fuzz right there. Let me see if I can fix that. If not, I can use it. We like that one better. Okay, so we have just a note, and then I think before I put that down, what's this one? I think I'm going to do some of that twine. See how these colors all just mm, go together so well. Did I get ink? Oh, I thought I got ink on there. I'm like, how'd I do that? Okay, so I'm just gonna tie it. Tie a little knot. I don't know if I'm gonna make a bow. I might make a bow. Let's try it. Let's try if these old fingers will work. Oh, look at that. Pretty stinking good. It's a little bit loose, but I think it'll work. As I keep pulling it tight, these keep getting bigger. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I can either glue this down or I could pop it up. What should I do? Maybe I should pop it up. But where's my dimensionals? Oh, hello. Right here. I'm going to use a big long piece just to hold it in place. It's going to be on top of that ribbon, so I want to make sure it holds it down. Cute. All right, does it need anything else? Okay, so here was something else I had, but I don't really know if I want to use one of these. I was kind of thinking of one of these. These are carried over. These are actually the textural elements, and they're carried over. They kind of add something. Hmm. Just not sure I really need it. The problem with them is they're very fragile wood, and if you try to mail them, they will probably break. So I don't think I'm gonna go, oh, I forgot to use this. Hmm. Kinda did wanna use a piece of this. Let's see if I can tuck it under there. Might be able to tuck this under, let's see. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of glue because you know, vellum and glue, they do not play well together. But if I tuck it under, maybe you won't see that. Let's see if I can tuck it under there. Ooh, of course it's really stuck down because I really put some pressure on it, but I think it'll work. I kinda like that. I like that printed vellum a lot. What do you think? like it. I think I'm going to leave it there. Do I need any of these? Yes, I think I do. So I'm going to, I think I could use a little glitz. So I think I'm going to use some of these gold. Oh, look what you get. You get two sheets, the small one and the big one. So I will use the big one and two small ones use that to hold it down. Ah, 
Oh, is that kind of sneaky? I love these. Okay, I'm going to look up those colors and write them on here while I have this open. Let's see what these three colors are. Obviously, that one's gold. Okay, so what do you think? Now, I made one of these prior, before I did the video. I made one, and I used some different product on it. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so I have this one that we made today, and then I have this one that I made earlier off of video. And what I did with this one was I actually cut all of these out of designer series paper and then I sponged them. So I think I like this one better. These are a little bolder, but this is very soft. So I will post both of these pictures. And if you do have an envelope board, get it out and read the instructions or text me if you need to to see how to use it because it's a little tricky the first time if you haven't used it in a while. Okay, so thanks for watching today. Happy New Year. I'll see you on Friday. And um, that's, make sure that's stuck down on top of that. That's, that twine is really thick, so that's a problem. If you, if you don't use dimensionals, you need to use some extra glue. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.